Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about three things in the query editor that people typically overlook. All right, so we always talk about DAX and data modeling and report design here at Guy in the Cube. But in this video, I thought I'd give a little love to the query editor, all right, to Power Query. So in this video, I wanna talk about three things that people typically overlook. Since this is a two minute Tuesday, you guys know what I like to do instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Head over to the query editor. Let's go transform data and this will open the query editor up. And I just wanna talk about three things. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this property window that is exposed when you right click a particular query. And so like, it's not just it's not just on the queries, but it's also available for the uh, functions. And so let's say you've created this function or you've imported this table and you wanna provide someone who may come after you, someone who may be working with this model after you, just a little information about it. So you can right click and go to properties and then I'll say, you know what, we'll click okay. And then if we hover over it now, you'll see immediately it gives that little message. So I'm just kind of letting the, the person who could potentially be doing some transformations against this data, hey, contact me before you change this. And you can do that for the tables also. It exposes that property window. So that's number one. Number two is if we go to this table, there's lots of, in the ribbon, the ribbon exposes all types of transformations and capabilities that you can do against the queries and the columns that you pull in. But a lot of people, I showed this to someone, I was like, look at this, you see this little icon right here? There's a little drop down arrow. If you click that little drop down arrow, you'll see that they've consolidated some commonly used table transformations right here in this list for you. So if you need to add an index column, invoke a function, choose a column, you know, keep rows, lots of different capabilities, uh, lots of different transformations right here. You don't have to search throughout the ribbon. You just click this little drop down, and they're all consolidated right there for you. That's number two. Number three is my favorite one. It's comments, but not just comments. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I right click here on Internet sales and I go to advanced editor, you'll see I added this filter, but I did some some things. I used this function and I'm using the parameter. And what I want to tell people is, hey, Please don't modify this filter. It is used for incremental, incremental refresh. Nah, I spelled it right. Not. And so this is some some something that's custom here. Please don't change it. And I want to give them an indication. So not only can I add the comment, but if I click done and I go over to the query, the, the applied steps in the query editor, you'll see this little notification, right? This little icon, note information icon. And if I hover over it, it provides the the person who's modifying this with a little information about that query. This is great, right? Three three quick things that you probably didn't know about or don't use in the query editor. And if you don't, or if this is new to you, or even if you use them before, I'd love to know. If you got any questions, comments about this, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.